Ghost Recon Phantoms is an online game. The community is the lifeblood of what we do. If we had no community, we may as well just all pack up and flip burgers tomorrow and do something else. The community is the game. There would be no clan competition, there would be no friends list, there would be no camaraderie, no rivalry if you didn't have people to love and hate. Most of the story and the experience comes from their interaction with each other, their relationship with each other. When things go wrong, the community are the first bunch of people that can give us visibility on exactly what is happening, how their experience has been impacted. Athena Ranking version 1 was an interesting challenge for us. It was our first attempt at creating uh, player leaderboards, but the outcome was that this actually had unforeseen circumstances. The slightest mistake has an immediate impact and an extremely long-term memory. People remember you for what you've done. So one of the things is uh, I will say hi to those guys on the forum. Thanks for digging up all those patch notes, putting them together in posts. Athena Rank really taught us that we need to spend more time engaging with our community before pushing out a feature that might impact users' behavior. So I would argue that perhaps this feature went out a little bit early and we've learned really to begin engaging the Athena Council. The Athena Council is composed of both the developers and a select few gamers who interact with each other on a regular basis to share ideas and to share feedback for the purpose of improving the game. I think that, that what we see uh, when our gamers are frustrated is just their passion for the game and I, I really appreciate that and it's something that just lets me know that they really enjoy the game or else they wouldn't feel so strongly about it. So playing with the players really did help me better understand their needs in terms of what does the competitive scene look like, what are the demands for equipment you need to bring into the competitive scene. I have met one player in real life in Kuala Lumpur. That was a lot of fun. Three of us went up there and we got to say hi and meet up. A lot of gamers have become my friends actually. In fact, um, if I do travel to countries where they are residing, I look forward to having some drinks and dinner with them and meeting them in person. Thank you.